Hello everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And today, we are going to Petal Meadows, because apparently that is where the first Crystal Star is. Hey Mario, what's the deal? You didn't equip the badge Professor Franklin gave you. If you don't equip the badge, it won't do any anything for you. Equip it before you forget. Oh, sorry. Jeez. So now that we have that power, we can, that airplane power, we can fly over to what's over here. Spiky over down there. Don't want to fight this big Goomba. Hey, look, that thing's kind of soggy. What if we hit it with our hammer? Bloop! Bloop! Ow, that hurt. You guys already guessed it. It's blooper. It's a big blooper. A really big blooper. Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just, who just up and whacked some, someone's tootsie like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious Nazi, that's who. It's actually raining a lot outside, so you might be able to hear it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Bloopity bloop blue. He's in a world of hurt. Bloop blue bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle tremble. Hey Mari, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? We can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Okay, so you can only battle this guy once. So we're gonna tag him to see, like, what is what he's like. He, his HP is 12, his attack is one, and his defense is zero. And he attacks with his tentacles, and his tentacles have three HP. So we're not gonna be able to kill them right away. Blue, blue, hey mustache. Blue, 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 blue. You're thinking I'd taste good. You're thinking I'd taste good, aren't you? Admit it. Yeah, you don't, you want to stop. You're darn boobin. Oh no. I didn't see that one coming. We're gonna actually attack. I cannot get the double attack that you know. And once you defeat a tentacle, it curls up and dies. Okay, so now I get it when I don't need to get it. That's great. So now we can hammer him. We're gonna use a power smash. And you do the same thing. Just instead of doing two damage, it does four damage. Now he can't attack right now, so he's kind of screwed. We're gonna use normal smash this time. You actually can kill this guy. Oh, so right there, that's a little slot thing, and it gives you a certain thing depending on if you down there or not. And he's dead. So not too hard. It gives you 20 star points though. One of those big star point things equals 10 small. So we get shot into the air and disappears. And look at that platform. I wonder what where they will lead. Hey look, this is actually the pipe that leads to Chapter one, we're finally out of the introduction. Chapter one, castle and dragon. I know, that's 
pretty obvious. We saw the castle on the thing. The dragon isn't obvious, but it's about to be. So we're in Petal Meadows already. What a great time it is. How could a dragon live here? Well, here we are in Petal Meadows, where the folks say the Crystal Star hides. Woohoo, here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. I know it is. Let's save just because we can. Yeah. What the heck? Oh my god. What is it? So not surprising what it could be. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look. It's a dragon. Dragon. It's Yoshi's grandma. Yoshi's grandma. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Can't really do anything right now, so we might as well just keep on moving on. can hit trees with your hammer. Use drop bars, yeah! So now we have more than one Goomba, so it's actually not going to be one hit showdown. However, we can take care of these Goombas in one turn. Pretty easy, those Goombas. By the way, Depending on where we are, I might actually do some off-screen training. I'm not going to get any, like, story done. But that probably won't happen, because I don't think it's necessary. But if it is, then I'll do it. But most likely, most of the time, I won't. Because that way I can get level ups and stuff. Actually, we're almost at a level up. can't actually kill these guys in one go in one turn because Gumbella does not cannot hurt spiked enemies yet. So these are actually um, things that we haven't actually gone into yet. Appealing can get your star power up, which we haven't used star power either. Um and defending just protects you from attacks. I think we should be leveling up very shortly. This pipe we could go in it, but we don't have to go in that one yet. We will go in our second time here though. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tablet ability, okay? I might be able to look up something useful that'll help us on our adventure. Maybe. So here, I'm gonna switch to Gumbella and take out the Skumba first. Bella's take killing her own kind. I don't think that's very good. Now that we have that spike guy out of here. Headbonk. Okay. I'm really bad at this. Whatever. It's okay to be bad at things sometimes. Next battle we're gonna level up. I don't even know if there's another battle in this place. I 
I don't know why I just went around there. There's nothing over there. Oh, a switch. And there's something over here. A star piece. Which we'll also get into those later. We don't have to collect all of them. Just we're gonna wanna collect a few of them. Just because you'll see. You will see the light. No more enemies are there. Oh, a mystery item. Fire flower item. Oh, we only need one more battle and we didn't get one. Oh. Anyway, this is Petalburg. The city in Petal Pet Town in Petal Meadows. Welcome travelers. Hmm, where are you to ask? What is this Petalburg? Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity. Once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm, nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. The pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Okay, so this is Petalburg. We're not going to get too much really done here. We're not going to try to. Actually, we're going to end off the episode here. So next time, we are going to be exploring Petalburg. Oh, wait. First, let's talk to this kid. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Yeah. I've heard of it. Actually, before we finish, we can check out the items. The item shop. We haven't been in the shop yet. So this is where you can buy stuff. You just go up to the item, press A, and you can decide to buy it. Or you can talk to the shop owner. And you earn points for each item you buy. There's a list of items you can get um, from points over here, as you can see. So the point, the items start out pretty generic, and then once once you get on, they get pretty good. And you can buy, you can sell, you can store your items here. You can withdraw your items from the storage, and you can check your points. There's actually going to be a side quest that I'm going to be doing, where we have to trade from one shop to another. <laughs> I fell in the water. <laughs> That's what happens when you fall in the water, and you have to do this HP. This is the inn. We didn't really explore Rustport at all. So I'm just exploring it here. We'll explore rough port later. But the inn, you can talk, you can uh, restore your health. However, it does cost a few coins. Unless you find this item called the inn coupon. Which will get you um, a free inn pass. But I guess that's it for now, guys. I'll see you guys in the next epi part episode. And... Make sure to subscribe and comment on your favorite Mario character, because why not? Bye.